Hello and welcome back, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, I am going to continue our campaign now as uh, King Tenjin the Fat of Semyon. I do apologize for the uh, day or so that we didn't have any of these episodes up because I have been sick again, you may notice my voice is deep, I have contracted the plague uh, yet again because it just happens. There's a new epidemic spreading through the household and uh, it's because of the children, children are filthy creatures, they go to school, they... I don't know, slobber on each other or something, and then they all come home like rabid dogs, and they give it to their parents, and it's just not fair. But, um, anyway. So, let's go ahead and uh, keep playing this game a bit here. So, I've decided that we're going to murder our spy master because I definitely do think that uh, this duchy here, the Duchy of Sanaa, is going to be one of the best duchies that we could possibly expand into in this area down here. It's one of the only ones that I've found that has, um, well, in this case, six provinces in it, which is a huge duchy, right? Go to the, uh, the duchies map mode right here. We can see that most duchies, like even Medina's only five, most duchies though are not going to be that large. They're going to be four, they're going to be three, Lemmy is four, Makarai is three, you know. And so the problem is you're only ever allowed to have two duchies without pissing off your vassals. So as your domain limit continues to go up and up and up, if you actually end up with like eight, nine, ten domain limit and you have eight, nine, ten top holding provinces, but they're spread over three duchies, then you either have to hold, a, uh, hold territory where the duchy hasn't been created, destroy a duchy, or do some other nonsense just to allow you allow yourself to get up to that full domain size. The other huge, huge disparity between having um, your provinces in a six province, sorry, it's having your capital in a six province duchy versus a three province duchy, is that again, if we go all the way back to Semyon here, we have two provinces in our capital duchy right now. Capital duchy being the duchy that uh, your capital province itself is located in. So your capital proper gets a 50% bonus, capital county, plus 50%. Every other province that you own in that same duchy gets capital duchy, plus 25%. So we're talking about, right now we're getting plus 50, plus 25. Total bonus, plus 75. If our capital was over here, we'd have plus 50, 25, 25, 25, 25, and then 25. So we could have five more provinces, that's 125% more levy than, um, well, it's 100% more than what we have right now. So anyway. I gave this land out to individual people because we wanted this to happen, which is happening, which is great, but, um, yeah, we're at 7 out of 8, and I just, I, don't, I just, I want this, so, you're my spy master right now, but we can murder you, and you're my heir, so, hey, do you want to help me, uh, somebody want to help me murder this man? Why don't we choose somebody else to be spy master instead? My brother, the lunatic? I don't know about that. Someone had also suggested, and I like this idea, that um, by having lots of Jewish vassals, what you can actually do is just search the realm for characters who have high stats and uh, just invite them to your court. They will apparently generate lots of rulers for you over time. L sorry, lots of random people. So let's look for uh, gender men, people who have high intrigue. Here we've got this guy. He's actually really good at a lot of different things here. Steward of a Sab. Doesn't like me very much. I'm a known murderer. He is currently where? He would not accept an invitation, but um, send them some money is the, the basic idea, and then usually you can get them to invite, to accept an invitation to court. This guy, we already know he's going to say no. I wonder how much it would cost to actually bring people in. Or are we supposed to use this interface then and look for people who would just accept an invitation? Let's, um, obviously they can't be landed, so let's, let's filter out the landed people. We want to make sure that they are Jewish. Are there just not going to be any people who would actually accept an invitation? Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure exactly how whoever had commented about that expected that to work, but it's not working for me, so whatever. We'll go ahead and make our son into our spy master for now. Sure, why not? Baron DeWitt. Who is our heir right now? It is him. He's not particularly good. Is that who we actually want to be our heir? Kind of scraping at the bottom of the barrel here, aren't we? We've got um, Basilidas. A bit dull, but he's a brave man. Our stats are pretty god awful. Yeah, I guess, man, he, he really is. It's It's got to be that guy. So he's a baron because I'm assuming I gave him one of the subholdings in Axum because we needed to do that. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, we're gonna try to murder our current, or what used to be our current spymaster. Now he's no longer. 
Count Jonas has used a favor to force them to join all of their factions. Count Jonas of Sanaa. How did you already obtain a favor, sir? So this guy has two holdings. Down here. In the Duchy of Berbera. And, uh... That's kind of annoying. It's my cousin. 1273313. Which factions has he joined? Count Sanas. Sana, Count Jonas for Simeon, naturally. Okay, well, fair enough. Um... I mean, if that's the way you want to play it, I could just get you murdered. Like, like that's that's what we're gonna do. 180 percent plot power to murder you, sir. I mean, you shouldn't you shouldn't have done that. That's a bad idea on your part. Righto. So it's time to uh, to do some more holy wars and stuff. We have a claim on this province with the actual holy site in it. So I think it's probably a good idea to just go for it. Right? We've got um, 27 moral authority right now. I was looking at declaring on this guy. We have no truce right now. We could claim the actual province itself. Either way, we're going to face these two guys here. Both of which are not particularly weak, um, but also very distracted, right? This guy's got pacts, and we're looking at this fella here with 4,780 troops, and this fella here with uh, 1,700. But the fella with more troops is currently waging three separate wars, and he's a little bit busy. So, I think we can swoop right in down here and just take over this territory. And possibly even do it with a holy war for the extra moral authority. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And let's just see how well the Jews can march. Alright. I've called in allies. No one's offered to join yet. I believe the longer we actually let this war last, the more likely they are to actually join and, and be problematic for us. This province down here would be another person that we should probably declare war on. You are independent. My god, look at all those negatives. A lunatic with the great pox, slothful, proud, lustful, and gluttonous. That's, uh, that's an impressive slew of characteristics, sir. We have a new designated regent slot available. Hey, Count Jonas, I want to introduce you to, um, there's this thing, it's called a, a balcony. Have you ever heard of it before? Young Kiffel seems to always be willing to share. Okay. Alright, do we want to become rivals with Kiffel? Our 14 year old? Being educated by us? He's very likely to actually become our character, so let's go ahead and say... Uh, let's see... For five years, I lose stats. I could become stressed. We're already drunk. I'm gonna go ahead and give him diligent. I'll take stressed. That's fine. I don't want to make him ambitious. It's a great trait, especially if you end up playing that character, but... Alright. Move some of the army over. So we're not even hostile with too much. He's only called in one of the allies so far. That's a good sign. Pretty much just going to balance these things out. All I saw there was something, something, a baby was born. Balance these two things out as best we can. I don't think we have any siege leaders available. Oh my god, we actually do. Nice. As he's growing older, I can see that Khalil, Khalil could use some guidance in my experienced areas. Okay, fair enough. That's an Azim boy. You... Apparently I can't make this guy diligent. I've got to do something else. Well, you must learn on your own in that case. Okay, so Phineas. Fantastic. Phineas of our dynasty, who has negative opinion of us. But you're a good siege leader, so congratulations. You are now a siege leader. And we want to get this thing going as fast as we can. Come on, Phineas. Teach him how it's done. Siege plus 80%. That's incredibly strong. Amazing. 8.6% against an actual fort. I love it. That is so good. Are there no more? Can I have... <laughs> Please, sir. I'd like another. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Hey, it's a balcony. That's great. Okay, let's give um some prestige to somebody. For now, we'll make our heir into a commander. We're not gonna actually use him for combat. We just wanted to get some prestige. Oh, the more prestige he has, the better we'll be. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We've inherited the county of Sanaa. A tragic accident, as far as anyone uh, should be aware of, or whatever. Okay, we're going to... What if we held on to that for a little while here, in favor of giving it to Heffel? We hold on to it for six months, get this kid married, and then give it to him. Try to make him diplomatic. Oh, right, right, there's subholdings. Forgot about those. I mean, we're over the domain limit slightly. I'm a six year old who lacks an education. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh no, slow fever is broken out. That's not good. Well, I told you I was sick. The most respectable King Tenjin, due to the affliction spreading through Semi and I have been forced to stop doing what I told what I told you to do. Well, you're kind of a pansy. Get out there. Nice! My liege, I'm pleased to report the success of my mission to Semyon. We have proselytized with a 4.2% yearly chance. We have converted the county to Jewish. Nice. Three down, thousands to go. Let's start working on territory that uh, we want to move into. This other duchy over here would be a good idea. Eventually, we're going to revoke all this other territory as well. Alright, let's get that, uh... That fella back over in charge of this, this army. 46 war score. No one else has joined the Holy War yet. Uh, actually, that's not true. One more person has. It's a Throp Kerman. This fella over here. And then the other guy was... Abdul. Okay, well, fair enough. I don't see any armies, so we'll just kind of siege down the war goal and kind of hang out. We've inherited the Aksum tribe from Chief Tekka of Rama. So some tribal holding down here we've actually inherited. Hmm. Well, I don't really want this. So we'll just create a new vassal. And call it good. <clears throat> Our boy should be coming of age here in just a moment. There's their army, nice. Okay, we got everything in the province, in the Wargle, so we should be getting a ticking war score when... Let's see, this duchy is actually quite large. One, two, three, four, five, six provinces. My bad, um, the Emirate of Oman is actually quite large. And that's actually two duchies that are six right next to each other. This would be a fantastic place to live. So that means that in order to get the ticking war score, we actually have to siege down all three of these as well. So... Uh, let's keep going. 11th, 27th. Nice tithe. You know how I feel about them tithes. Right, we're going to split off half the army and take some over there. We're going to be into Hafar on the 27th, which is fine. We don't actually want to fight them if we don't have to. Caleb Solomonid has bought a favor. He has used it to call... He's called in a favor on Semmer, the steward, the strategist. Okay, he is continuing to leave, which is good. We'll go down to even fewer troops here and try to siege down two at once. Let's wait till the other army arrives here and then we'll move this next army over. Keep the whole army together for security, but I feel like being a little bit greedy. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, yep, nope, looks like I'm wrong. Alright, let's make sure we got good leaders, because it looks like we might actually be doing some combat here. So, you're going to stay a guy, because you're actually pretty good anyway. Then we've got uh, Facilidas, who's not particularly great. I don't remember... Yeah, he's my cousin. He's the aggressive leader. He's actually one of the better options, apparently. Okay, we could bring back our guy and have him participate. 
Iskinder. Pursuit morale damage. I mean, most of his stuff's pretty good. Yeah, we'll stick with that guy. Just we'll see. Charismatic negotiator for our son. 18 diplomacy now. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get this guy married off to some woman. Keep it all in the family. Go with Desi. No. I think it's funny how it actually shows family members. 23 year old. My stewardship would be nice. You look quite nice. You're quite young, though. That would require me to wait for another... At least... At least one year, if not two years, before we could get rid of that province. Yeah, just do it. We don't want to actually give him any land until after he's married, otherwise he'll break the betrothal because he's an idiot. And we did get engaged, so let's see how we are doing over here. We've got uh, Phineas Gideon leading the center, doing a pretty good job. Nice charge, straight charge tactic. There's no leader in the center, killed 41 troops yesterday. That's a 2 to 1 ratio. Doing a pretty good job here, we're, we're doing charge tactics, so heavy, capital, heavy infantry plus 120% damage. Volley harass, charge, and uh... I think it's interesting how often we end up doing this um, narrow flank, even though we have lar like more men than they do. Slow advance, force back, pursue, pursue, pursue. Doesn't matter, they reinforce, but this is going to give us, this is probably the end of the war right there. We're probably going to get enough war score from that. 41 war score, captured some random dude. Is he actually worth war score? No, he's not, so let's see if we can ransom him. We have a lot of prisoners right now. Must have gotten some pop-ups about sieges or something and I didn't see him. That or we just don't get pop-ups about that because I accidentally turned it off at some Holy crap! Tay has 726.9 gold. How did you get so much, Tay? And why are you still in my realm? Go away. I will gladly take all of your money. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now there's a Jew if I ever saw one. My god, we should be playing as Tay. We're crying out loud. Okay, with that in mind then, do we just finish the siege or just go do one more battle? I kind of like to burn down the mosques. We're already here. We're talking about 4 times 12 days. Eh, it's probably not worth the time. Let's just get to peace. The sooner we get the Holy War done, the sooner we can convert more provinces. And, uh, looks like Khalil Azim became a Grey Eminence. Hmm. His opinion of us is pretty good. 49. Personal diplomacy is quite strong. He's con we're content. I demand you be Jewish, by the way. Sure, I forgot about my promise to take Gim... G G G well, I can't read that. Um... Gurma? Gimma? Gimma? Just lots of lines in, the, in that name. You may gain brooding. Alright, become brooding, that's fine. This may develop into just wrath or envious. Okay. Appear to be doing quite well these days in combat. Um, I've just become wounded in battle. I'm also still stressed out, so... We may die soon. 98 war score from that now. Let's see, can we... Um, first off, any more ransoms? Okay, and then beyond that, can we change our air? We've got Phineas, my cousin. He's actually kind of tempting. He's Coptic, though. Doesn't like us too much right now. He's ambitious, thinks we're an infidel. That'd go away if we converted him. I just love martial commanders, martial leaders. They're so much better. Alternatively, we could go for Kiffel, my son. He's actually got really good stats. Let's vote for him and see what happens. People should vote for him, I would assume. Two point four war score, and we are done with our first holy war for a holy site. Offer peace. We will accept your demands. We gain a bunch of piety. We gain some prestige, and more importantly, we get three percent moral authority for the next twenty years. Right now, our moral authority is at. 27. This is going to immediately take it up to 20 to, to 30, and then we get even more because we're going to control the actual holy site itself. So this is going to make huge difference. Now we're at 40% moral authority. Our ability to convert provinces is now going to get much, much better over time here. I don't know if that's updated right away. We're considered to be threatening. 
we're at a uh, 10% threat right now. And we actually took the entire holy, uh, the entire duchy this way, which is a much better situation to be in. So now I'm kind of tempted to hold on to all this because again, this is, um, well, it's, it's a six county duchy. So why would I not want to? Holy crap. There's so many subholdings here. A barony and three cities. Glorious. Hold on to the barony for a second. The cities and temples can all go away. Okay, that puts us at 15 out of 8. I pretty much just want to move everything into these two duchies. How's the tech look over here? Uh, we got a province here, it's also part of the Silk Road. War is blocking this port, this part of the Silk Road. Provinces that are occupied or besieged will block the Silk Road downstream. If active, the Silk Road would give the following effects, plus 238.1%. City tax, castle tax, trade route income plus 15.87. Holy crap. Um, I want that all, please. Yes, thank you. Trade post built in the Silk Road counties. Increase the modifier for all provinces if some silk, blah, blah, blah. Can we build a trade post for 50 gold? Yes, we can. One of the following must be true. Either you need to be a merchant republic or the province is located on a major trade route and we are the owner. We can only build one trade post, it looks like, based on our current tech. So, not being a trade republic doesn't matter. We could we could still actually go for for trade posts. Trade practices right now is currently reducing us down from four down to one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking the way this looks. Let's take a look at the trade route a little bit more. So this is one of the only provinces that's actually in there. But... Provinces that are occupied or besieged will block the Silk Road downstream, so we're not going to be seeing much because there's too much war going on. The, the Silk Road is just like completely shut down like everywhere right now. Very interesting though. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Next episode we're going to decide um, exactly how we're going to handle this new territory. I think I might even just be willing to go down to just sell all this land basically. We'll lo lose a huge amount of our levy, but it's just so much better territory. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'll be back in the next episode, though, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.